Let me see. Hey, Nisha. Let me put my glasses on. Well, let me clean them first. I can't see. Hey, Xena and Z. What's going on? Hello, hello. And so let me go live. What's going on, my ladies? Hey, C. Hey, C. They are not, they're not chilly, actually. I wish. Let me, I'm trying to like put it down without it falling because it's about to fall. Wait. Hello, Lala. Can you see? You see my stove. I don't want you to see my stove. My plant, my plant is dying on me. You gotta get away from the window. It's too cold. It's cold in New York. It's not chili dogs. It's hot dogs, yes, but it has pork and beans on top. <laughs> it's pork and beans. It's like I'm trying to maybe if I put it further, so I can't go. Whatever. Whatever. What is up? What you guys doing over here? Is late. What time is it over here? Like, almost 9.30, I think. What's up? What's up? I'm going to wait for a little bit. I got vitamin water. Hey, Coco. Hello, Ari and Kay. What's up? Oh, my God. You guys made it to a live. What is up? How are you? Yes, please thumb up that live real quick. I haven't been live in a minute. I know. It's, it's hard. It's hard for me to um go live with the kids. It's like this phone shows like everything. I don't want you guys to see my stove. Oh, whatever. 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 How are you guys doing? <laughs> I know, listen. Last week, I hurt my knee. When my daughter got sick, then the baby got sick, then my husband got hurt at... um work and then my other son got sick so it's been like really 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 busy so but i'm here oh my god you see my little plant oh no i'm gonna have to take that off i don't know if you guys are like plant people but it's a water plant but because it's next to my my window and it's cold in new york i'm gonna have to take that out i think i have to put it in my bedroom there's been like a lot of sunlight coming in from over there Oh, wait. Oh, with cheese. I have to try that. I haven't tried that. Oh, you at work, see? Um, right now, today was like 40 degrees in the like during the day. I don't know how much it is now. Let me check. I can check on my it's 36 degrees right now. Um it's freezing in New York like freezing so i don't eat the like spicy stuff so the hot um cheetos alone oh my god was really spicy for me but when i fried it for the pickles it was yeah it was it it was good yeah it's freezing in new york like it's it's snow it's snow i was gonna say snorkel and cold so snow so i made up a new word it's um snorkel weather I don't know if you guys know what a snorkel is. I know a lot of you in LA. It's like, you know, the coat with the with the hoodie with the fur. <laughs> it's, it's that weather. It's serious out here. Oh, so you switched the heat. So you know what I mean, Lala. It's hectic over here in New York now. They're saying, they're predicting, because it's in November. So it gets like chilly. But not cold like this. You need your coat, scarf, hat, all of that. Until about like late December. <laughs> Coco. <Cool, cool. laughs> so, that's like late December. That happens in January. You know? So, for it to be cold now, they're predicting that in, it's going to be the coldest winter we've had in 136 years. So yeah, I got some hot dogs. I have ketchup and mustard and um, pork and beans on top. Mm. Mm hmm. I've never heard of that. Locals Valley. 
Is that in New York? I'm in New York City. I'm in Brooklyn. This is a lazy dinner. time thank you Alex I wish I can eat uh, I'm gonna stick that in under one meal for one video oh man I'm sorry when we hit any hot dogs listen I shouldn't be doing this either just the processed meat in the hot dog and then the the bun oh my goodness And these beans, them. Mm -mm -mm. All right. I'm like my plant is totally killing my vibe. I'm trying to get these watch time hours in. What? She just got monetized. So congrats to her. I have. I'm almost there, guys. The last time I checked, I was at 31. 31 or 5. Oh, no. I know carbs. I gotta, like, really be more strict with carbs. Like, for real. For real, for real, for real. But, you know, it's like a learning process. I've been swapping more healthier things for breakfast, like smoothies and... How about eggs with turkey bacon, avocado toast? So you guys try them. You know what? I'm gonna share this out real quick. Oh yeah, it's been a long, long week. I love avocado toast and i've never had them like in avocado toast let's go so coco needs help get into 1k girl girl i got you i'm gonna help you Oh, wow. So rub it in my face. You have some pinchos. And penin. Wow. Lala has shish kebabs. Well, you know, that's not bad because that's grilled. That sounds good right in my now. That's usually like a lady. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm jealous. That's usually like a lady that's being the corner a few blocks away from me. But now I haven't smelled it. Like when you walk, I don't know if she if she's still selling or not. So, do you need one k friends or the hours? I bet I put water. There's something in my in my ear now. So we gotta get you. We gotta get you to that milestone, girl. You gotta jump on people's lives, Coco. You know what helped me? I'm not even gonna lie. Pusa Studios. Going to Pusa Studios and for real for a tree trimmer. Especially especially Pusa, for real. 
So yeah, we gotta get you to that. So you could go, you'd be able to go live whenever you want. All right, so we gotta get, we gotta get Coco. You got this, that's right, she does. We gotta get Coco to one. These fries are good. They were like the the Orelda, Orida. But it was a different kind of french fry. As you get the um the crispy. I think it's called fast food crispers. This is different, but they're good. I feel like anything's good at this point. I'm hungry. Mm. Oh. I found one hidden. start going live more for real i guess i'll be trying but it's hard with, with these three kids and then i fall asleep i'll be trying not to fall asleep and i'll pass out that's right girl don't give up when it's your time it's gonna be your time girl but like i said go to those live go to live like if you see people with a handful of people. It don't matter. Just go. Go in and you never know whom you can meet. I like this new bottle. It's really, cool. it's really nice. Oh, yeah, me too, Lala. So, we gotta... I'm gonna get you, girl. I'm gonna get you, Coco. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know Pusa. Pusa Studios. But, girl. Go to Pusa. Try not to use that word, um, Coco. That SUB. Listen, Puso, I just you know. Sometimes people ship other people out, so you can also, you know, like try to be, like you know, the community boards and stuff like that, and, and try to just, you know, it's not easy, but. You know, we got them. Um, my stuff, Bella. I really appreciate that. I know I got a um a playlist, buddy. Um, the Fat Boy Show. Hey, Tori. Hi, my love. What's up? Mm. I forgot that I can't. I can't eat on that side. Oh, my God. He's so funny, right? So... Um, Thank you to everybody running my list. I appreciate it so much. Cheese, one of them. Thank you. I'm almost there. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. hello, Ty. 
I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm trying to get that before December 1st. Um, where are we at, the 15th? The 15th? Is it the 15th? I don't know. <laughs> One of the days, right? So, I think I have like, like two weeks. And I'm like, please, 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 please. I am excited about Thanksgiving. Me and my greedy self. I feel like every mukbanger is, you know, excited. Mark Coco, thanks for coming. If you haven't yet, please um smash that like button, please. Mm-hmm. Definitely, like, that is, like, dope. I love Thanksgiving. I'm so greedy. Ugh. Hello, Martha Skidmore. Thanks for joining my live. What's up? Oh, thank you for joining. Oh, oh, oh. We we're about to crash. I told you. I told you that my phone was... was... Let me put this... Because I finished eating. <laughs> I finished. I knew my something was about to happen. I felt it earlier when I was trying to like um fix the phone to go down. Excuse me. Let me see. What did she say? Somebody. Oh, thank you so much, Martha. I appreciate you. I'm guessing you believe it's full now, right? Yeah. <laughs> I already ate those two hot dogs. Those are good. I haven't had hot dogs in a minute. And then, like, the potato bread is so, like, stuffing. Oh, man. Oh, wow. All right, so this is 80 calories, but... Jeez, it's 44% sugar. That's not good at all. And eight carbs, 8% 8 carbs. That's not good. No wonder why, like, I was doing keto for a little bit. Keto's not easy. I mean, it's easy, but it's not easy at the same time. So... Oh, thank you, Lala. <laughs> um, I was doing keto. Oh, I try to do keto, and it's a lot. And I know it was like it, they were like so adamant about you not being able to drink vitamin waters and um Gatorades and and now I know why. Look how much sugar and carbs that is. That's a lot of carbs, but it tastes good. But still, yeah, it shouldn't even be. That's I'm trying to be in my health. Trying to bring it down. Let me see. I'm sorry that you guys just like see my hand. I'm trying to like bring it down. Let me bring this down. And turn this. I haven't used this tripod in so long, like, cause I haven't been going live. So it's like when I when I went to grab it, it was like you know just straight. <laughs> so yeah, like when it was about to timber. Okay, what about now? Yeah, no. Okay. There we go. You see my clean pots and stove. Yeah, whatever. That was that. I had a nice long, long week. So I do have like a little bit warming up. I'm about to crack this bad boy in a second. In a second. So you more than welcome to go get a drink. Come join me. <laughs> Come join me on Saturday night. I know that it's what? Let me see. Sorry, I keep this. Look, it is, oh, 9.46. So then must, I must have got on a little bit earlier. Oh. So, you know, go get a shot. <laughs> go, go get a drink or whatever you want to get. 
and come on back come on back come on back come on back no but i'm i'm gonna go back to um like i said it was a really tough week. i should have wrote in the community post about what you gonna call it um recording and stuff like that i have videos but i have to edit them and like i said it's been a tough week with the kids being sick and and everything so i will go right back to that on monday because i do post i used to post seven days a week and now i post four days a week which is mondays wednesdays thir um fridays and saturdays so yeah we gotta like I mean, sometimes you can help where life happens, you know. I am a mother of three, you know, so it gets it gets pretty hectic. It's not it's not always um it's not always easy. Hello, Roderick. I'm sorry. In the past two years, thanks for joining my life. Please make sure you smash that like button. It's in the past two years. In the past two years, what? Yes, so who's like I know we were talking about Thanksgiving. Like, what are, what do you guys normally eat for Thanksgiving? What's on your menu? They've got to crack this now. What's on your menu for Thanksgiving? I say we crack this open. We cracked it open. This is a passion passion fruit lime. I don't know if you guys ever tasted it. pretty tasty to me i don't drink beer but this is like a a smirnoff you know the smirnoff malt beverages this is what this for this is what this is as well but just you know different company it's cold i'm cold a little I want to know what, what it is. Roderick said in the past two years. So I'm lost. In the past two years. What exactly? You guys are silent. 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 I wish we could play music. Like, it's Saturday. Right? Play some music, but YouTube is not playing that. But as far as Thanksgiving, my favorite. I would have to say turkey, of course. Some baked mac and cheese. um, Some candy yams. Some collard greens. I mean, rice, you know. Potato salad. um, Macaroni salad. But, like, my go-to would have to be that. <laughs> like, my mom never made mashed potatoes for... It was like potato salad. Oh, uh, thanks for coming, Lala. Thank you. I enjoyed our little combo that we had. Um, My mom didn't make mashed potatoes. Like, I know a lot of people used to, like, mashed potatoes and stuff. No, it's like, you know, me being, you know, Boricua, it was... Arroz con andule, penil, turkey, um, potato salad, macaroni salad. What else? That's it. Like, towards, as we got older, then we started, like, incorporating the Big Mac and cheese, you know. Um, my sister, I would do it. And then I started making candy yams and collard greens, fried chicken, <laughs> All of that good, 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 good. Just like a different variety of, of food. Because what's Thanksgiving without turkey?
It's like I feel like every time I touch my phone, it shakes. It's not, it's probably not secure. Like I said, when I found it, it was the tripod was just um, stiff together. Stiff together. I had one of these in the wild. Tastes really good. <laughs> it tastes really good. I'm here like, ooh. Let me have some of this real quick. I'm trying to decide what to like. What to like. What vid other videos I should make. Because I've done... I mean, if it was up to me, I'd do. And if it was up to me and it was up to my wallet, I would do seafood every day. Every video. Because it's just the best. Seafood is just life. I love seafood. Some crab legs, whether they're snow crab legs or king crab legs. Some shrimp. Hey, Ariana. What's up, Ari? Some shrimp, some corn. I haven't tasted mussels. I need to try Time to grub with Sharice. Hello. Oh, thank you so much. I was just talking about that. Like, what to do? What should I do next? And, like, I was I was saying it was up to me. It was up to my wallet. <laughs> I would do seafood every chance I got. You know? Um, I think, excuse me, the next video that I'm, I'm going to put out is a rotisserie chicken. Don't stress, girl. Don't stress. I am good. I'm good. Um, finally going live. I haven't gone live in a while. So I finally decided to go live. I'm trying to get these these watch time hours up. I'm almost there. I'm at 3,100. The, the last time I checked was like two two days ago. Two, three days ago. So I don't know what I am now. Uh, hopefully, you know, I have um, God willing gone up. But um, yeah, I'm trying to decide too. It's probably a... Uh, um, rotisserie chicken you know if you have any ideas let me know like or anything you would like me to see you would like me to see you would like to see on my channel let me know um and hopefully you know i do it hello sean and casey on am Mo. what's up what's up how are you thanks for joining my live please make sure you hit that like button um i was eating some hot dogs with ketchup and mustard and pork and beans you guys missed it because your girl was hungry so i ate it like this <laughs> i ate it like this so right now i'm just drinking a corona refresca but this sweet chicken with we love sauce Ooh, uh mm -hmm. or cheese or mussels and eggs and we love sauce or any sauce right so okay mussels i've never tried mussels so that will be something that I need to try. I've never had mussels and I've never had crawfish. So those are two things that I should definitely try. Hey, Amber. I definitely need to go try some mussels and crawfish. Um, oh, my God. Yes, you should, man. This is my only one. This is my only one. I haven't had one in a while. Um, it's been a long week. So, yes weird food love you too amber how are you honey um oh weird food combinations yes i'm loving these ideas but weird food combination she's like what because i did i did peanut butter i'm not peanut butter i did chocolate and pickles it was in one of my early early videos it's a challenge that i have so i hope you move your muscles from your local grocery store have a good one with white wine sauce, you just microwave it on, it comes out great. Okay. I've never, <laughs> yes, I'm guilty. I've never had crawfish. I've never had crawfish. Oh my God, Walmart is far from where I live. We only have one Walmart and it's long. I'm trying, I'm sorry guys. I'm trying to like push, push this down. Walmart is a drive away. Like in New York, I'm in New York. We don't have, I'm in New York. I'm from New York. So we don't have 
you know, Walmart is not like an everyday thing that we go to. You know what I'm saying? So we just got a Walmart not too long. Give or take five or more years. I don't know why I'm screaming. But <laughs> give or take like five, five or more years we've had Walmart. And I've never actually been to Walmart. Maybe I could check a line or whatever. But like I could try to go to BJ's or Costco's. Like BJ's is a Costco's also out here in New York. So I said try to go go there. Oh my god, really? I would love to go to Texas. I know that Cuzzo stay having crawfish and I'm just like, oh my god. Her and um my love, the Chomp Queen. I love me some Chomp Queen. Her too. What's up, Rick Rock Foodie? What's up? What's up? Um, and I definitely mean like my mouth is watering because I would love to know how crawfish taste you so you from louisiana and cuzzo always talks about that because that's where she's from right so like the crawfish over there i heard are like top notch you know bj's is, is like a costco's you know so that's what we have out here i don't know if it's just like an east coast thing ain't all that at all really <laughs> but i want to try it i want to try it let's like like little mini lobsters you know like da -da 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 -da. Oh, wow. Crawfish Festival? Walmart also has the frozen crawfish, but it's better to try crawfish for the first time fresh. So I've looked in my seafood market and they don't have it. They don't have crawfish. Oh my God, I want to taste it. My mouth is watering. Wow, I'm such a greedy girl because I just ate. Like, I just ate some hot dogs and I'm over here, my mouth is watering for crawfish because I'm, I'm dying to taste it. I'm dying to taste some crawfish and when i went and when i went and i finally was like okay yes we do we have um what's the name i don't know right now um i'm trying to remember i know sub crab is a new one in new york city like in the city and something else but before sub crab there was something else Ugh, i don't remember you know is that because i don't be going i don't go to them i make my own seafood boils so Man, I want to taste this so badly. Mussels, I don't know. Mussels and mussels, I got to really, I got to really like talk to myself about that and, and say, you know, Gina, come to terms. <laughs> because the mussels, it's like, I don't want to say what makes me feel. So, okay, right? So that's, in my mind, that's what I thought. They're like little baby lobsters. So, like, I love lobsters, so I would like to taste it. But mussels is kind of like clams. I definitely won't try. You won't ever get me to try no no clams. Because I feel like it's like a gagajo. I don't know how to say that in English. Like, phlegm. You know, the phlegm when you're sick and it's like in your throat. I don't want to be, you know, disgusting right now, but... You catch crawfish, and but that is so cool. So like where, because now I want to know. <laughs> now now I want to know, and, and I'm gonna do my research. But like, where do crawfish live? Like they live in what what body of water? They are actually better. Yes, they right. I, I get what you're saying. But, like, even with the mussels, it's hard. It's, like, a hard texture. Like, I see when people bite it, it's, like, a harder texture. It's not as loose and, like, flemmy-ish as cl um, clams. But, I don't know. I still have to... I, that has to be something that I need to, like... I need to talk to myself. You know, like, crawfish was like, okay. This is this is it, you know? <laughs> oh, crawfish ponds. Okay, that is so cool. Like... I want to try crawfish. Like, if you, I was gonna say, if you can mail them to me, you know, express mail. Oh, same texture. See, I wouldn't even know. I don't even know. So I'm, I'm over here talking and I don't even know what I'm talking about then. So, Louisiana is, is our time. So, are we in the same time zone? Yes, right? If I'm not mistaken. 
Who's in the West Coast? So you could, anybody could just go or you need like a license to catch crawfish or like, how does that work? I'm curious to know. Also, oh, you're an hour behind. So you central time. Yes. Because it's 10, it's 10 02 now. So you're central time. Right? Yeah. I know it from a job. I went to a job like um where I was supposed to learn like all the abbreviations of the whole 50 states and all the time zones, the um also you three hours by so it's seven PM by you. So, you know, I had to learn, you know, Pacific time zone, mountain, central. Yeah. Sometimes I, I remember it was a long time ago. I'm 32 now. So 18 was a long time ago. So I, I like, you know, knowledge, once you get it, it stuck with you. But it's like, <laughs> it's sometimes the abbreviations like, oh, you know, so sometimes it's like, okay, I got to remember where in the map you are. And I'm like, wait, okay, Louisiana's over here. It's down, but it's over here. And like, you know, no, yes, I am. But like these three kids don't make me feel young. <laughs> Ah, they don't make me feel young but i did this you know this job where i was trying to get this job because i didn't get it when i was 18 years old so that was a while ago it was this um it's all right i hope you enjoyed your food what did you get what did you eat did you guys get the Popeye sandwich? The the D weight? <laughs> um Yeah, I was 18 and it was a call service, but it was a call service that took it took uh, El Pollo Loco. What is that like a Spanish restaurant? It took calls from everywhere. So if somebody called, it would flash on the screen. You had like three. <laughs> And they thought you guys gotta try that sandwich if you haven't already. It's like they, you know, where you were sat, there was three monitors. And so when the call would come up, it would say, you know, where it was from, but you would have to like talk to the people and act like sometimes they were calling personal people and you would have to, you know, say that they're not here and, and the time and or whatever. And and when it was time to go and you know, like role play with the owner. Okay, oh my god, I just think about it now because it was such a high paying job and it would have been a bomb job, me 18 years old, making like $16 an hour. And I froze. Like he did the exam about the time zones and it was like pointing on the map and, and the abbreviations to each state. But then when it came to the call, I froze up. I just froze up. Like it was the worst. It was the worst. It was the worst. Oh my god, I would never forget that. We miss El Pollo Loco. They close hours here in Texas. That's a West Coast thing. El Pollo Loco. I've never had. Oh, it's a grilled chicken place. Yum. That sounds like um in New York. Oh my God, what's it called? Like um, I can't remember now. Excuse me. I I don't remember now. God. Jeez, I'm like, oh, I'm. It's a restaurant I went to twice, and then the second time I went to, I was like, oh, oh, why I went here? Why I came here? Oh my God, I forgot. It was it was a Peru a Peru Peru Peruvian <laughs> Peruvian. No, so I was asking, so I would love for you guys to tell me what are your favorite. Um, meals for Thanksgiving. I don't know if you remember, but remember those black beans that used to be sweet? They changed up the recipe. Mmm. Yum, that sounds good. Some black beans. Turkey soup? Oh, wow. That's that's new. I've never heard of that. That sounds delicious. I love turkey. Not a lot of people like turkey because it's dry, but I season it and I try to make it like if I do a baked chicken. And 
I tried to, you know, not. Oh, that sounds good too. A whole turkey fry. Go ahead, Martha. Is life stage fright? It happens once you get used to it and become, yeah. Yes, it's definitely like stage fright. It's definitely, just like when I was in college and we had to do like, it was one of them recommended and recommended. It was one of the mandated classes with speech. And was that after? I think that might have been after. Yeah, I had taken speech. But anyway, speech is like a, a course that's mandated, right? That you have to take in order to graduate. And <clears throat> I hated it because you had to go up. And, you know, the teacher always talked about how this is what people always, like, mess up in. As adults, it's, you know, speaking in front of people. And, you know, even though growing up, I always liked to raise my hand and read. And, you know, like read out loud and stuff like that. But it's different when you have to stand up in front of people and speak. So we had to do... An introductive essay, persuasive essay, um, well, not essay, speeches, you know, informative speech. And it was just like a class that, like, you needed. It wasn't, it wasn't like, um, a lectorial, is it? It was mandated. Like, you had to take it. You had to take it. And I wish I, I would have, you know, that was, you know, when I had that class, I was, Mom, this mama is shot right now. I don't understand what's going on. They grill whole chickens on the grill to the rest of this fast food joint. But the chicken is yum. I used to hate speaking in front of people in school. Now look at us on live. I know. Listen, my first live, I was electives. Yes. <laughs> did, I, did I say that? Um, I'm not sure. Like, my memory is shot right now. I don't understand why. Um, Jeez. I had, like, it was like a, oh, God, I just remember being up there, like, oh. Then, of course, after you're there for a few months with these people, it's like, okay, after, you know. And I would notice that if if you didn't know what you were talking about and he had given you a topic, you know, the professor had given you a topic to write about and have to do and do it in front, it was, like, nerve-wracking for some reason. But then if you knew what you were talking about, like, when it came to informative, we had to choose a topic and we had to do it. The other ones, he would give us a list of what to do. So, we like, you had to do research and all that stuff. But in informative, I spoke about makeup. I mean, loving makeup and where makeup started and how Egyptians used to use makeup and how they used to make the make makeup, you know, and all that stuff. <laughs> so, it's so crazy. Yeah, you go on live and I know my first live, I was freaking out. I was freaking out. I was like, okay, I'm going to go. And then I would stop it. Then I was like, okay, no, 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 I'm going to go. And then I would stop it again. I'm like, oh my God, stop being a punk. <laughs> they just do it. Just do it. But that sounds good. A whole fried turkey. Yum. Even though that, you know, be careful because I know like there's, there's been a lot of like reports over the years of, you know, burning down and, you know, oh, thank you, Amber. So are you, honey bun? Um, of it, you know, like fires and stuff like that. So be, I've never had a fried turkey. I'm sure that would be. I wonder. Has winter set in? And yes. Yes, it has. Let me tell you. And it has set in early. It is 36 degrees now, but it's freezing. Like the past, I want to say almost two weeks. Martha says, when I took speech in my college, professor told me to look right above the heads of everyone and from left to right. I'm like, I'm looking at everyone and, and that took the scare away from me. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, no matter what, like, I mean, towards the end, I, I was comfortable, you know, because it's like you had to do it in order to pass. It was like period, point blank period. You had to stand up in front of people and speak. And it was just like, oh, you're fine, you know, whatever. And I mean, I passed. Yes. Public speaking. Yes. I hated it, too. Yeah, it was the worst. It was the worst. Like, having to do, you know, like, I didn't get too much anxiety. It was like, you know, like, I was like, it nerve-wracked. But it was like, damn, you got to, like, you know. 
And then is it the one thing they don't want you like this? You like you had to like look, you know. So the first one was like this, and then I finished, and it was timed and everything. You know, you had like two minutes and to do it. And I remember the first time, <laughs> the first time I got, I finished in twenty seconds, and he was like, "Yeah, no, <laughs> you gotta do it." No, we fire our turkeys outside with propane in the big one hundred gallon pots lit. Yes, I was just like, blah, 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 blah. he was like, you didn't look, just, you know, calm down, do it again. So it was like, okay, you know, like, forget it. When it came to, like I said, the informative, and I was talking about makeup and being a diva and everything, I was walking around the room like, <laughs> like I owned the place. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't know why. I mean, I understand, you know, it's because in life you're going to have to speak to people, whether you have a job, whether you're speaking in front of kids and... It was like my first day when I was a teacher, me being nervous. And you have this little, this little four-year-old kid staring at me. And I'm like, I'm here supposed to sit down and do, and do what exactly? <laughs> I used to be on the speech team, really? With poetry, it occurred, it helped conquer that fear. But yeah, I got several orders into deep fried turkey Cajun style. Yum. Oh, you a caterer. Yummy. Yeah, I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm nervous with that. Even though, you know, I know a lot of people, they enjoy that. That's like the new thing to do is fry your turkey, you know? But, like, the way I do it, I, like, poke up the turkey. It's like a good, like, anxiety reliever, you know, which is weird. Because at first, like, when I started doing my own turkey, it was so weird. Like, oh, I don't want to, you know? And then after a while, I was like, I got to poke it so I could get my, the garlic and the seasonings inside of it, you know? And then when the juices is flowing, like to to use, I never use really use a turkey baster. It's like a yeah, I just take a spoon and you know put it to make sure that the that the juices go inside to you know moisture moisturize the turkey breasts and everything. <laughs> but like Amber, I'm, I was watching your video the other day with the turkey leg, right? And I'm like, out of all the years, it's been about four years that I've done turkey. I've never had a turkey leg. I'm sure it's Thanksgiving, right? The full time. Like, I make cakes and treats on the side. So, yeah, right now, it was like, I want to say from July, June, July, August, it's really busy, like, with birthdays and everything like that. And then this time comes the seasonal, you know, the Thanksgiving, you know, Christmas, all of that, like, orders coming in and it's crazy. So you do you you work for a caterer or it's your own? No, I want to poke it too much because that's how you dry out the turkey breast. But I've done it, and my turkey breast is not dry. So I don't poke it crazy. But what I'm saying is that when I first was doing it, the very first time, it was like I was like nervous to even like oh I feel like oh you know because that's not normal to just be like poking up a turkey and like. Enjoying it in a sense. When I bake my turkeys, I use the garlic butter Cajun injectors. Ooh, yum. I use garlic, um, chopped up garlic, fresh and minced garlic from, you know, the bottle. V, what's up, V? Um, how are you, my love? Um, the garlic from there. I also use adobo, garlic powder. I love garlic, garlic powder, um, oregano, cilantro, um, you know, my own Spanish little twist, <laughs> you know what I mean? Black pepper, you know, olive oil, things like that. Like, that's what I use. Um, and, you know, it's been, it's been a good turnout so far. Like, do you guys stuff your turkeys? I know it's good for your heart and your nails. Garlic. You have your own. That's so awesome. That is so cool. Ooh, spicy Q&A. Yes, V. I can't wait to see it. 
Yes, I love I love garlic. You don't want to poke it too much. That's what. No, I got what you were saying. I got what you were saying. Don't worry, I got what you were saying. I definitely got what you were saying. But um, I never use the injectors. I usually just like put my finger in, <laughs> put my finger in the little holes and stuff like that, and put the stuff more in it and. You know, I know, I know, but it's, it feels, it feels like, like, you know, stabbing it. I shouldn't be enjoying it, but it kind of like takes out some aggression in a sense, but I wouldn't do that in real life. You get what I'm saying? You know, but it's like, I got to season this bad boy here, <laughs> you know, because turkey can get dry. Like it gets dry and stuff like that. But I feel like, I feel like the secret with it for me at least, um, is, you know, like taking, you know, I take a spoon, you know, the big, big rice spoon to, you know, put it, put the sauce every so, not, not too much, maybe like twice or maybe two, you know, two to three times throughout the process of it getting, um, cooked and I'm going to need to make it 18 or over. Yes. Okay. I feel you. <laughs> yeah martha yeah you know at first i was like oh no you know like and 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 then i found that the, the skin wasn't even moving and i'm just like oh my god i really have to get this like in like i gotta get this in i had to really like really you know and i'm like oh no but i'm like okay i gotta i gotta season this because i don't want my turkey to be dry and i want it to be tasteful and i find also that the olive oil you you know put outside it it um it makes the skin crispy. Yeah, I've never I never and I, you look I like with the times that I've seen the jerky, I'm just like, why is it just so big? But I, then I can understand why they it stuffs and it's like a room for it to stuff, you know, not me. I don't stuff it. You know, I like the stuffing done on the side and you know, that's just me personally, but Then I have a thing with with the turkey. Even even if it's it's baked if it's baked chicken, like cleaning the insides and everything like that, cleaning it. I also season the inside as well. And my head is like it's getting seasoned from both ends. You know. Okay, so you stuff it and you have it on the side. How do you make your stuffing? Do you just make it with vegetables? Um. To so inject, I gotta get injectors then because both of you guys, you and Martha, talking about injectors. I usually just like stab it up and then you know put my fingers and make sure that in each nick and cranny, you know. But I mean, that I guess it's a tradition for me, you know what I mean. Um, and the turkey's not so big, it's it's like you know, medium size in a sense, or maybe even you know, small, nothing crazy. Onions, apple, onions, apple, celery, lemon, yum. <laughs> oh my God. So that is so cool, Martha. I thought my aunt was like the only one she makes the best. My aunt Mildred makes the best stuffing I've ever had in my life. Prior to me trying it, I never would even look at the stuffing. And she made it and she made it with ground meat. And I was just like, this is life changing. Why did I never, like, I wouldn't even attempt to make stuffing. I wouldn't even attempt. I was like heartbroken when she moved to Florida. <laughs> I was like, no, you're leaving me? Like, who's gonna make your stuffing? You know, you're in Florida. Amber, I don't know what she does. All I know is just, it's like regular stuffing, but then with ground meat in it. And it's like, you don't even know that the ground meat is in it unless you know. You know, you don't know until you know type of thing. And it was just like, what is in this? You got the vegetables all chopped up really, 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 really fine. I do not make tamales. I wish. Oh, my God. And then the ground meat. Oh, my God. And then my, my mother-in-law makes her stuffing with turkey sausage. Oh my God, I'm just like, Jesus, this is insane how good this is. 
You stuff yours with oranges, onions. Yum. That's different. Oranges, onions. I don't stuff my turkey. With sage sausage. Yum. I'm prepared to. I'm prepared to have a, a double neck. <laughs> I already have, you know, it's coming. I already, I'm prepared. Hello, LaMarcus. How are you? I'm super. Listen, Thanksgiving. Oh, man. I just love Thanksgiving. Like, especially that, you know, moving moving out on my own and, and having, you know, my kids and stuff like that. Because you have to, like, tamales for you, V, is, is for me, is pateles. And pateles, they taste amazing, but they are hard work. Like, you have to take the platanos and then the guido and, like, you know, guiralo, like, and then, you know how many times, like, my knuckles got cut or my thumb because I'm trying to, like... get all of that good stuff in you know what i mean and then then like you put the 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 masa to the platanos and then you put the meat but then the the oil like the meat i can't explain okay, you put the meat and then it's like this oil that you put but the oil has achote and the achote stains so it was always like now as a woman i want to do it because like, I just want to do it. I need some pateles in my life. This is the time for it. I need some pateles with some coquito. And, yes. Coquito, I know how to make. But pateles, I'm telling you. But I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to make the meat. I don't know how to make the sauce that goes with it. You know? Which little babies are asleep? My little babies? Yes, they, they definitely see Because if they... If they weren't, I wouldn't be on live right now. <laughs> I would not be on live. Tamales. For sure. Every time I see you, V, and we on live, I'd be like, oh, my, that dank word comes in my head. Like, you think this tamale is going to be dank? <laughs> ah, I think this is getting to me a little. I'm almost done. <laughs> Even the way you write for sure. For sure. I hear, I hear your voice in my head. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. What y'all doing? I know C says she's working. Right? I don't have an earring on this side. <laughs> oh, please, V. That's you, baby. That is you, girl. I like you teach me. You teach me West Coast slang. So, I love it. Um, tamales. So, what are people ordering now? Let's let's come on, join me, V. Go ahead, go make your drink. So, what do people order? Excuse me. Right now, it's like think it's like Thanksgiving food or. Do you be having sales for the holidays and stuff? Or was like a set rate? Oh. Oh, you got to wait. Yeah, you don't want to fall. You definitely don't want to fall. Let those floors dry. <laughs> Let those floors dry. Yeah, it's like, I'm I always like, I, it's so fascinating. Because it's almost 1030 over here. And it's 730 by you. Right now, I feel like the day is done. You know, I got to wash these dishes. Listen, I definitely will slip too. I'm right there with you. Mad clumsy. 
<laughs> I'm mad clumsy. For the most randomest things. I have no idea why. Like, for my phone, I had to get the the glass um screen the yeah the glass screen protector because if not, I probably would have cracked my phone. Yeah, this drink got me feeling. I'm a lightweight when it comes to drinking. So, one more. I mean, I'm feeling like, you know, one more, forget it. What are you going to make? What are you going to drink, um, V? What are you going to drink? What's everybody yet? Talk. What's up? It's okay. What chicken? What am I missing? What chicken, Amber? Oh, I'm trying to take. Mm. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. So yummy. Do they even give that show anymore, yo, Gabba Gabba? Oh, my God. That, was, that came out when my son was a baby. And now, now, oh, okay, yum. Now he's 11. He's 11. Oh, Moscato. What color? What, regular Moscato, pink Moscato, red Moscato. I love Moscato, too, but I love me some red Moscato. Red Moscato is yum. Yum. I actually do have some red Moscato in the fridge. I like the pink one too. And that was like my go-to. It was like, okay, the Moscato. Then I found the pink one. But then when I found the red Moscato, oh my God. Just soak it in the half and half and half or whatever cream. Creamy substance allow for an hour ahead of time and yum my mouth is watering my god i'm so greedy if i would have gained weight on just me like oh my god yum that's delicious and the pictures i see forget it i'll be a little a little cow don't be nervous amber you got this girl please you know you be chefing it up chef boy id over there amber Yum. Chef Boy RD Amber Bamber in weird places. Is it right? As long as you work it out, girl, you got this. And I feel like with you, because you're slim, I'm sure like you gaining. You know, in the right places. You be good, girl. Wait, what? Amber, you've never fried chicken? Wait, 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 wait. That, that just can't be. What? <laughs> yeah, I saw the picture. I was like, oh, what? In your 30 years of life, you've never fried chicken? Oh, my God. Amber, let me tell you. I hate frying too. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it, but I do it. I hate it, but I do it. When I was about, matter of fact, 18 again. It's like all these stories today is 18. I got to play the number. I was 18, I was making empanadas, and I was frying them. And the when I went to turn it, the empanada slipped out the off the fork, and it fell into the oil. So because it fell into the oil, it splashed on my face. And I had, my face was burned for about three days. Yeah, you got this, Amber. You got this, girl.
You don't have one what? Yep. I burn my face, the oil right in my face, pop right in my face. That's the only thing is like pop in, and, you know, but the turnout is amazing. It's so amazing. Even no matter if it's olive oil, avocado, whatever, coconut oil, you listen, when you fry the chicken, okay, especially it's going to be chicken breast, chicken breast gets done quick, but you just wait for it to brown. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, you wait for it to brown. And once it's browns, like, you see the edges browning, then you flip it, you know? And you got this, girl. It is nerve-wracking. I, I can understand because you it's your first time doing it. But, hmm, I can taste the crispiness already. She got that. She bougie. That's why V. She got that air fryer. <laughs> so what you do? So before the air fryer, what did you do? Mhm. Mm okay, this is what you do: fry the chicken until it's golden brown. It may not be done, so you put your oven on 350 degrees and stick it in the oven to finish cooking. Oh, okay. No, we got a pro here. cook more stuff fresh but like if you want to fry chicken right prior to the air fryer coming out what we of course we got you girl you know we got you um got you <laughs> she said i buy it <laughs> no we're not gonna scare her out of frying chicken <laughs> You got this, girl. You definitely got this. Like, especially this chicken breast is so much easier than frying chicken legs and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, cut up chicken meat. Listen, in frying and just in cooking in general, I done burned of you know a chicken or two, and I definitely have chicken that was not cooked. And when you bite it, you know it's still pink in the middle. And I had to refry it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Chuck Food Reviews and more welcome. Thanks for joining my live. Um, excuse me. Please make sure you hit that like button. So it's a learning process. <laughs> but you're doing a you're doing a, a chicken breast. So that's that's so easy. That's so easy. Are you ready? You ready to know, girl? FaceTime me if you want when you're doing it. Just wanted to say hi real quick. I can't stay. Have a good... Uh, hi, I see. Thanks for joining in. Please make sure you hit that um like button. I always be like, please make sure you hit that smash button. Please make sure you hit that like button if you can. Yes. Okay, thank you. Hope you enjoy your Saturday night. And if you see my eyes, like, all, like, one... That's one drink. Like, goodness. God, I remember being young and thank you so much. I remember being young and I could take that's the wind blowing. Oh my god. Um just drinking and drinking and drinking. Like it was nothing and I nah, nah, I can't even one glass of wine. So one maybe not all the wine, but like the red Moscato. Like I already see, man. I'm, like, I'm over here like super happy, <laughs> just with one drink. Oh my god, I'm such a weirdo. So funny, so funny. My baby girl's birthday is coming. She's gonna be five years old next week. I can't believe it. I'm just like, oh my goodness, my little girl. That's my little girl. Like, I could see, like, her just, like, blossoming in front of my eyes. You know, her, her from looking so babyish to, like, she's, like, a little big girl. A fat-ass breast. Just a, it came out perfect and juicy. Yum. I gotta check that video out. Oh. <sighs> Here we go. And then I start yawning because of this. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is what this fresca just did to me. What's up, John Loves to Cook? What's up, what's up, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. This is what this little refresca did to me. One, That's because I haven't drank in... I don't know. I think almost like a month or maybe maybe a little bit more. Yeah, she got this. Amber got this. She got this. I believe in you. And like I said, if when you're doing it, you need help, FaceTime me, girl. <laughs> um, just make sure you don't get no water, you know, in the oil because then it's going to splatter everywhere. Um, You know, so, yeah. I'm dancing to the whole, my own beat. The own beat of my drum. I wish you could play music. I'd be like... Damn, my baby girl's birthday is coming. Today's Saturday. So it's on Wednesday. And I, I just can't believe... That it's actually coming. It's actually here, you know? She's five years old, five, thinking she's 30. Yeah, when she's flowering it, definitely. But, you know, she's just more scared about the the frying, which I get. I fry all the time, and I still be like, oh, I be trying to matrix, but it's just like there's no getting past it. Girl, Breezy was the same. I'm gonna be getting off home soon, guys. Season the chicken the way you like pour, pour. Put flour in a brown paper bag and shake that bye boy up. No, oh, listen. I'm just like, little girl. Little girl, I'm just like, what? What are you doing? Who do you think you are? You're only four, about to be five, not four, about to be my age. Like, she is funny. She has so much attitude that everybody keeps telling me that that's me, but 10 times more in, st in steroids because she is sassy. She is like... Like her mother, I guess, she would tell you what she likes, what she don't like, you know? And I'm just like, who are you? Just don't drop the chicken in the oil slowly. Place it. Yes. Yes. Don't drop. Don't just throw it in there because, like I told you, I burned my face and that wasn't deliberate. It happened to, I guess, because the fork had oil and from taking other empanadas out. So when I went to that one... It slipped down and and just like splattered. I mean, it just fell right back into the pot of oil and then it splattered. And this was, it wasn't like this was my first batch. I mean, hot oil is hot oil. You don't want to get burned, period. But this was probably like my fourth or fifth batch. So the oil was hot. Listen, I was crying because I had these black dots on my face. And then by the grace of God, after the second day, I seen that it was like kind of like peeling off my skin. And so when I went to the bathroom and like was trying to like take it out, it just, it came off like the scab came off effortlessly without a mark. Thank God. But I had gotten burned. Now with oil, but with chocolate one time when I was doing my treat, my treats and the chocolate burst out my piping bag and onto my forehead and my whole thing. If, if I didn't have my glasses on, because these are the exact glasses I had, I had on, the chocolate came, it went from here, and it was my whole, my whole glasses was filled with chocolate. If this wasn't for it, the chocolate would have went, and there was no doubt that the chocolate would have went in my eye. And I still have, like, you can't see it now. I feel like you can, but because of the foundation that I have on, it's there, though. It's like, it was boom. Right there, you can see it red. I still did videos with it and everything. I have videos with it. Because I was like, listen, this is not stopping me from doing my videos. I got to get these videos out there. I was just getting them out there, burning everything. I didn't even care. I was like, listen, whatever. That's not going to be there, you know, for long term. It's just temporary. But when it fell off the scab, it's still there, man. 
<sighs> but yeah, oil's no joke. <laughs> Back to that, oil's no joke. Oil is no joke. None whatsoever. I gotta get my my nails done. It's that time. It's that time. It's that time. It's that time. V, did you pour your did you drink yet? Hmm. That is true. It's true. It's because we cook. Yeah. It just be like, like, what's going on? You know, it's, I feel like an incident like that is God telling you, listen, slow, my mother even fell off, slow down, take a breather, pump your brakes, you know, when things like that happen. And I was like in a rush to like get these done because it was for um my dance team at the time, you know, in, in college. And we was trying to, um, I was making it to have a whatchamacallit. We was having a fundraiser. So I was like rushing, 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 rushing. Oh my God, I gotta, I gotta get this done. I gotta, uh, I got it done all right. I got it done that, boom, I didn't even go to the fundraiser. I wound up going home because my face was burned. I was crying like the biggest baby in the world. Because I was just like, oh my God, my face. And then it was like, the thing is, it wasn't open. And that's probably why I didn't have a scar. Because it wasn't open. I acted fast. Unlike this, it was a full-blown scab. That if you remove the scab, it would be, you know, it would begin to bleed. This was like, I automatically went to put um, cold water, you know. And then, I believe I put toothpaste also. I don't know, but yeah, this one, this one took a minute because like I said, it, it was just all over. It was crazy. It was definitely crazy. Well, guys, I am going to let you guys go, right? Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I hope you guys were able to smash that like button. Okay. So, okay. If you, <laughs> if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to. Have you as a design diva and also make sure you go check out everybody in this chat, especially my mods. If they in blue, they are for you. Who says that? Um Carter Carter's Eat. <laughs> I love her lives because she says that if they if, it's, if they in blue, they are for you. If they in gray, they here to stay. That's what she says. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it, but I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for chatting with me. Thanks for, you know, being here while I eat. Until next video or next live, I see you guys. If you can't help a sister out and play those playlists, I will appreciate it dearly. And stay safe, stay blessed. Love you guys. Peace. <laughs> bye, V. Bye, Amber. Bye, Sean. Bye, C. Bye, Tina and D. I love you guys.